Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is 2 power of x times 5 power of y is equal to 20. 2 power of y times 5 power of x is equal to 50. Now, from this as equation 1, and this is equation 2, then in the first step, we'll take equation 1 times equation 2. Now, from equation 1 in the left side, it is 2 power of x times 5 power of y. So here, 2 power of x times 5 power of y, we put it together, times equation 2 in the left side, it is 2 power of y times 5 power of x. So bracket 2 power of y times 5 power of x, bracket is equal to. In the right side, equation 1 times equation 2, it is 20 times 50. So here, 20 times 50. Then in the next step, from here in the left side, we put exponent with same base of 2 together. So it will be 2 power of x times 2 power of y. 2 power of x times 2 power of y, we put together, times, with same base of 5, 2 power of y times, I mean 5 power of y times 5 power of x. So bracket 5 power of y times 5 power of x, bracket is equal to, this times this, 2 times 5, it is 10. Then these two zeros. Then in the next step, this multiplication of exponent to same base of 2 will add the power, so it will be x plus y. Here, x plus y, then times multiplication of exponent to same base of 5, then we add the power, so it will be x plus y. Then is equal to this, which is 1000. Then in the next step, this multiplication of exponent with same power of x plus y, it will be 2 times 5, which is 10, power of x plus y. So here x plus y is equal to 1000 to have base of 10. 1000 is same as 10 power of 3. Then from here, because we have same base of 10, so we'll compare the powers. So it will be this x plus y is equal to 3. So this equation, this will let us equation 3. Then in the next step, we take equation because in first in step one in the first in the first step we take equation one times equation two into this step we'll take equation one we divide by equation two. Now from equation one in the left side it is two power of x times five power of y. So it will be two power of x times five power of y over Equation 2 in the left side, it is 2 power of y times 5 power of x. So over 2 power of y times 5 power of x is equal to, in the right side, it will be 20 over 50. So in here, it is 20 over 50. Then in the next step, we divide with same base together. So it will be 2 power of x over 2 power of y. So here 2 power of x over 2 power of y times two power, 5 power of y over 5 power of x is equal to this over this. Whereas to simplify, this 0 will cancel with this 0, so it will be 2 over 5. Then in the next step, here division of exponent to same base of 2, it will be this power of x minus power of y. Then times... Division of exponent with same base of 5, it will be y minus x. Then is equal to 2 over 5. Then in the next step, it will be 2 power of x minus y times, in here we make to have same base like this. So we, it will be base of 5, we take negative out of bracket. So when we divide this negative x, Divide by negative, it will be positive x. This y divided by negative, it will be minus y. Bracket is equal to 2 over 5. Then in the next step, because here we have this negative power, we'll take it in the denominator. 
so it will be this which is 2 power of x minus y over this when we take to the denominator it will be positive so it will be 5 power of x minus y x minus y is equal to this 2 over 5 then in the next step in here division division of exponent to the same power of x minus y so it will be 2 over 5 then bracket same power of x minus y is equal to 2 over 5 then because we have same power of 2 over 5 2 over 5 this is same as bracket power of 1 so from here 2 over 5 2 over 5 same base so we'll compare the powers so from this power it will be x minus y is equal to 1 so it will be here equation 4 which is x minus y is equal to 1 this will let us equation 4 then from this equation 3 and 4 we'll solve it as simultaneous equation so from equation 3 which is x plus y is equal to 3 and equation 4 x minus y is equal to 1 we will add these two equations so it will be x plus x it is 2x y plus negative y it is 0 is equal to 3 plus 1 it is 4 then we divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then to be x is equal to 4 divided by 2 it is 2 so this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem now to find the value of y from this equation 3 which is x plus y is equal to 3 we'll take we'll make y the subject so we take x into this side so to be y is equal to 3 minus x then from here we take this the value of x which is 2 into here so to be y is equal to 3 minus x which is this 2 so to be y is equal to 3 minus 2 it is 1 therefore this is the value of y so the value of x x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 so this is our final answer now from this answer to check if this answer is correct from x let's say x, we can say x comma y is equal to 2 comma 1 so to check from the solution our solution x comma y is equal to 2 comma 1 because x is 2 and y is 1 from here x is 2 y it is 1 so we'll check from this equation 1 now from equation 1 here we'll substitute it will be 2 power of x 2 our x it is this 2 times 5 power of y so 5 times y our y it is this 1 then is equal to this which is 2 then in the next step it will be 2 power of 2 it is 4 times 5 power of 1 it is 5 is it equal to 20 so 4 times 5 is 20 is equal to 20 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x comma y it is 2 comma 1 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.